Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi Desalovo. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you're so very welcome to Fumi Nation World, where we have laughter, positivity, etiquette, and all kinds of good stuff. And talking about etiquette, today's episode is how to lay a dinner table. One, and also understanding your dinner place. So when you are sat down at your place for dinner, you will know what goes where, what is used when, and how. You guys have been asking me, and I said, today I'm going to do it. Also, in the next episode, we are going to do what? We are going to do dinner and table manners. <laughs> All right, my darlings. So without a beat, let us start. And some of you will be asking for me, oh, I love your necklace. This Fumi necklace. It is by tarotcollection.co.uk. I will put her link down below on Instagram. She's absolutely fabulous. I love her. And I wear her earrings and she's got so many goodies as well as crowns and stuff you're gonna love her so go ahead and spoil yourself for the new year without a beat let us lay a dinner table why not <laughs> so darlings we start with what a charger plate the charger plate is the plate where all the other plates are placed on top of. You can have different kinds of charger plates, designs, patterns, whatever you desire. But that is the first plate that goes onto the table. You can also have placemats and you can have tablecloths. This tablecloth means everything to me because it was Mummy Vold. Ula's mother who actually made this so it's years old and I treasure it and I only bring it out on special occasions and it was very fitting for what we are doing today then I have some flowers if you like you can also have some candles if you like you can also have your salt and pepper shaker I don't have them on my table as a rule because I like my guests to enjoy the food or at least try the food first so here we have the charger plate then we have the dinner plate. The dinner plate is the main course and that goes on top of the charger plate. Then we have the salad plate and that goes on top of the dinner plate. And then we have the soup bowl. Now, don't put anything out that you're not going to use. So if you're not going to have soup, if you're not going to have salad, don't put those out. You can also have a napkin and I like to just show this for you guys a very very simple way of doing a napkin so you fold it in half diagonally as you can see you lay it like so and you just roll it on the side there you go voila and it just stands <laughs> perfect you use your thumb for measuring so you have roughly an inch and you can see there's some space here so i should drag it a little bit further down now with all the plates in setting you need to have what your cutlery i'm going to make it really easy for you your knives on the right your forks on the left why for me because most people are right-handed and use their left hand to assist the right hand not in this house because ula is left-handed and i suspect that adrian is left-handed too so let us start with the knife and this is your dinner knife now you see the sharper edge that goes on the inside why because you don't want to look aggressive <laughs> maybe you want to fight to your dinner partner no you put your dinner knife on the inside because back in the day dinner knives used to be super sharp so it looks aggressive and we've kept up with that tradition so you have again one inch and this is your dinner knife yeah then you have your dinner fork and your dinner fork like i said it goes to your left and then we go in to have your fish knife your fish knife is on the outside why because that's what you're going to eat before you go on to the dinner go ahead and then you have your fish fork i am going to put images of what an exact fish fork should look like because the prongs are different then we go on to have what the salad knife so the salad knife is also on 
on the outside with the sharper edge on the inside we also have what our salad fork and that also goes on the outside so you eat from the outside in what if you're having a starter instead of very good Ve i love that ula i love that you have what your spoon your spoon goes for what for your soup so you can have a starter most of the time when we have dinners like this is like a like a gala dinner they will have all the settings out and some people might want to have only a salad some people might want to have a soup before they go on to their fish if that be they might also want to have the crab dish when it comes to the crab dish the crab fork is on the right why because there is no left-handed utensil to assist the fork so that's the only fork that goes to the right now my darlings we're going to talk about dessert dessert spoon and fork is on top this way all forks come this way once you've had your different courses and you're now going to dessert you can have your cake fork and you can have your ice cream spoon why because once all of this has been taken away you can slide your spoon to the side like so on the right hand and you can slide your fork like so to the left side so you have them this way i like to have my cake and my ice cream i like to have them both so you just put that up there then you have your teaspoon and that is for what your coffee and your tea and that is placed this way we also have a bread plate and that is placed right here and then you have your butter knife which is angled at four o'clock this is not a bread knife it did not come with this set but it is usually something along these lines it's a flatter wider broader knife so that is what a butter knife should look like so yes. why is the teaspoon not all the way there because you don't start with that that's a very good question Ula. your teaspoon actually stays there because you have your coffee and your tea cup right there by so doing so that there's no confusion you really just can put your teaspoon right there so that it does not confuse you but because it's a small one we know that it's not used for anything really and you have your tea cup here where you can have your tea or your coffee now you have your water goblet and the water goblet never ever has a stain so you have this placed here so to speak most glasses is usually from the shortest to the highest and you start with your water which is filled with still water or um, sparkling water we have our our champagne glass and that is a very slim flute and we have that placed right here for your pink champagne we go on to have the white wine glass which is a little bit fatter than the champagne glass and then we have what we have our red wine glass and the red wine glass is even fatter than the white wine so you go from the slim medium to uh, a ballooned glass so you have your champagne white wine red wine and then least but my absolute favorite your sherry glass and you put like so and this my darlings is how to lay a dinner table again do not put out what you're not going to serve because then the utensils serve no purpose but if you're going to have a full-on soup salad fish or crab before your main dish then go all out and serve my darlings do we love my darlings do we live <laughs> can you see me can we eat now Oh, we can definitely eat. Man. And that is how to lay a dinner table, my darlings. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button as well as share. And the next episode will be about what? Table manners. What to do. <laughs> what to do and what not to do. <laughs> All of my love. Bye.